Hey, hey, YouTube, this is Gamer Cory, and if you want to learn how to make a player elevator in Minecraft using Soul Sand and Magma Blocks, stay with me because we're about to get started. Alright, so as you can see in front of me, we have the player elevator. You could probably use it for other items as well. Uh, but I want to be able to show you how I created this thing. Uh, it looks like a lot of stuff going on, and it's really not. We have an item swapper at the bottom here. That's what creates the soul sand and magma block cubes flip flip flops. We are using a T flip flop right here. That's going to help one of our buttons, and then I just have a down signal from the very top. And it does work regardless of which button you push, but I want to show you how I created this thing. But before we do that, I want to show you that it actually works. So right now we have magma cubes right there. We got the magma blocks. We can push the button and it's going to switch for the soul sand. And now we can go for a nice little ride to the top. So now obviously we can't go back down the same way that we came up. So I had to come up with a switch up here. So now you can see the magma cube is there, and now we can just get sucked down back to the first floor just like that. And now we can push this button, and it's going to flip-flop, and now we, now we can go back up. And this idea all came to me from just messing around with uh, item swappers. So we got the floor one there, you can see that one, and then I have a light switch one here. And I was like, you know what? I really want to be able to create something that I would use in my own world. I don't really think I would ever make anything quite like this or quite like that in my survival world. But this I would definitely use because if you guys have been following me on my survival, I actually have just a water elevator, but I don't have it flip-flopped. I actually have a down area and an up area just using magma blocks and soul sand blocks but this is to be really really beneficial uh, you could have multiple levels you could have multiple different things going on uh, really kind of set it wherever you want um, and you could have different levels too so if you wanted to have another one right next to it that went up even higher uh, you could do that and this is a very universal design and you can really kind of just go as high as you would like but let's get into the building process shall we all right, so the first thing that we have to do is make our item swapper. And at the bottom of the screen, I should have everything that I need to do that, I hope. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place down our sticky piston. Now what's going to happen is we need a block here next to it. It doesn't matter which side. It really doesn't matter for you guys. And we're going to activate that just like so. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come off to the side here and we're going to put a block there and a block there. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a torch on both sides, like so and like so. Now what we need to do is we need to put a repeater into both of those blocks just like that. That way that turns off those redstone torches. What the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna place our sticky piston on both of those. And now we can go ahead and put down our block. So we're just gonna put magma block on for now and then we'll put our soul sand there. And now what we need to do is we need to activate it with redstone dust there, redstone dust there, and really that's all there is to make a an item flop. Now if you want to make it go a little bit faster, you can put a repeater here. This is not necessary. You put it right next to the other one, and it's actually going to it's going to swap it a lot faster as you can see. All right, for our next little part of the build, we actually have to build where our elevator is going to be at. So this is obviously going to be the middle block, so we're just going to go ahead and build with whatever block you want all the way around it. So I'm just going to use stone for the time being. Uh, we can you, you could use whatever you would like, whatever you want. So we're going to put I'm going to put glass. I'm going to show you how this works uh, with glass. So we're just going to do that for now. I'm going to do three high on all of that. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab some fence gates and we're going to put fence gates on these stairs here. So let's go ahead and grab those fence gate. We're just going to grab an oak one because that will work just fine. And we're going to go ahead and place it on each one like that. Like so. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open each one. And then we can build this however high that we would like. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this for you guys so you guys don't necessarily have to see me do this. All right, now however high that you're going to create it, we're going to finish the back side off. So we're just going to go up a three more high on both sides as well. And then I'm going to put some stone here in the front so we can just mark where we're going to be walking out at here. 
So this really could be however you want. I like my buildings to be three high, so it's really up to you guys. Uh, this It's just more of a personal preference. So let's go ahead and do that. And just like that, our casing for our item elevator, or not item elevator, but our player elevator is all complete. So I'm just going to put a couple more stone out here because we're going to need to have a platform for us to walk on and put our button switches on. So I'm just going to go come out like this. And then we're gonna do another layer like so. And we're gonna do that on the same on the other side as well. Perfect, looking good. Might as well just throw another block there. And there, that's kind of the formation of the top there. And then let's go ahead and do that on the bottom as well. So we're just gonna go out again. We're just gonna go out a few. It doesn't really matter how many we go out. This is just us uh, marking kind of where our player elevator is kind of leading us to. Um, if you want to have this like multiple elevators, just make sure that you guys separate this. You need to have a block space and then you can put another one, you know, over here. So it's going to be, was that three blocks away? Yeah. So like right about there would be your next one. So you could have a few of these in a row if you wanted to, not a problem. I also will put, when I am all finished, I will put the download in the description. So you guys can go ahead and download this so you guys can check it out. Kind of see what I did to build this thing as well. All right. So that we, now that we have that all finished. I'm gonna go ahead and place a button on both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and put one, let's see, we need to grab one first. So let's go to grab ourselves a button here and we're gonna go, we'll put it there. And then at the top, we're gonna to put it on the other side and we'll put it um, right there. So as you can see, I'm actually doing it backwards uh, from what I did in the other world as well. All right, so our next step is to actually create so these buttons work. We want to be able to make this button and that button flip-flop our our uh, blocks here. So on this one, what we're going to do is we're just going to make a, a T flip-flop and we're going to make that going down. I want to make sure that I pick the right area. So we're going to go ahead and put our uh, sticky piston there and it should work, right? Perfect. So now we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves an observer. And I'm going to go ahead and do that for now. And we're going to have an observer basically facing down underneath of us. If I can push the right buttons. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come down to, we're going to get rid of that block there. So what happens is this going to extend. And then this one is going to extend. And that is going to extend right into that block there. So what's going to happen is this will come down and it's going to pick up that block for just a second. And I picked the wrong one. So it needs to be that one right there. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a redstone block here again. Per perfect like that. And what that's going to do again is we're going to push the button and it's going to pick up that redstone block for just a moment. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this button. What we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and throw a repeater into that. I'm also going to make sure that our lines don't cross. So I'm going to go ahead and put a repeater on both sides like that. So that way we're not sending signals both ways. All right, so then there it is. So that should be our bottom button all complete. All right, so the next one is a little bit more tricky. You're gonna have to create basically a two, uh, a two wide. So like if you're gonna do this, you would dig down like so in a um, another world, in a survival world. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna build that right here. So that's gonna go to the top like so. All right, so where's my button? My button's right there. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna make this out come out just a little bit further, just real quick. That's gonna give us kind of what we need. So the first thing we're gonna do is, you're gonna gotta remember where this is at. So we're gonna put a redstone torch right behind it. So what that's gonna do is it's going to start by turning off that redstone torch. Now you can really do this whatever way you would like. You can either do two this way or you can do two this way or two that way. Just You just can't do it two that way just because that's where our, our building is at. So I'm going to go down and grab myself a uh, redstone dust real quick. There we go. Perfect. Oh, and I also need uh, torches as well for this. And then I'm going to grab my, my blocks. So we're going to use our light blue blocks again as kind of showing you what the wiring is. So what we're going to do here is put a block there and then we're going to put a torch there with redstone dust on 
top of it. And that's going to turn off that torch. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come down two from that torch. One, two. And we're going to get rid of that top one. And then we're going to put a torch and redstone dust on top of that as well. And then we're going to come down to destroy that one. Redstone dust. Torch. And we're going to repeat this process all the way to the bottom. So down two. Hopefully you guys can follow along with what I'm doing here. And then we're going to place another block, two down. Get rid of that one. We're going to do redstone dust, torch. And I'm hoping that this matches up for us. If not, we can make, we'll have to improvise a little bit at the bottom, which is not a big deal. So we're going to go ahead and again and grab our blocks, two down. And you can do this as you're digging down if you would like to, too. Hopefully you guys just don't hit any caves on the way down in your survival world. Um, or just kind of prep it out however works for you guys just just be careful in your survival worlds we don't want anybody dying now do we at least yeah you can spawn in your bed i guess that would work all right so we're going to keep going down we got uh, we're going to go up one there and we're going to get our dust torch and then we have our dust and torch and we're almost all the way to the bottom which is fantastic so we're going to do dust and torch there. And that should be perfect. All right. So the last thing that we have to do is prop, we're going to have to go down one. And we're going to put in our, our concrete there. And we're going to do torch and dust. And that's going to turn that one off. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and put our... our uh, redstone dust right there so it's going to connect that line so what we want to do is we want to make sure that this flip-flops right now we got soul sand and it's not working so we got to find out what's going on here so what this should do is it should come down and it should go into this one just fine so why is this not working the way that we want it to all right so we had to change just a little bit around on the bottom here to make it work, which I'll show you what we had to do just because we had to improvise and magma is coming up perfect. So what we had to do is we had to dig this one down. We're going to send the signal into this. That's going to light up that way as well. So we had to change it, this one around just a little bit here, which is not a big deal. We just put the repeater down one and it shoots into this stone, into that red uh, redstone there. And as you can see, we got magma block and then we're going to switch it to soul sand. Perfect. So there we go. So now let's try this one. Then this one should change it to magma and then back to soul sand. Now for the last part of our build that we're going to need is we just need some, some water. So if you guys are in survival world, uh, what you can do is you're going to grab your bucket of water. Just go get yourself an infinite supply. And then what we're going to do is if you go ahead and go all the way to the top and then put the bucket right here let it fall all the way down the bottom and then go get yourself some kelp hopefully you guys have found some at this point so let's go ahead and grab our kelp there it is we're gonna put our block down and we're gonna grow our kelp all the way down so apparently you can't put it in soul sand which is perfectly fine and then what we can do is we can get rid of all of these and this should make us an a completely and then what we'll have to do is we'll have to put the bucket of water here. And up we go. Fantastic. And we'll have to put a bucket of water there. So now we can't go down. So that's a way to get around it if you don't have a ton of buckets. And it's a lot taller of an elevator. Just put um, an item down so far. And then you'll have to fill the spot that you didn't have with a water bucket. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and click our button. And it switched over to magma blocks. Perfect. And now we can get sucked down into our elevator. And there we go. And now the next person can come down. And then the next person. And then whenever we need to switch it, we can go ahead and change it over to soul sand. And up we go. So there we go, guys. We have the player elevator behind us. Uh, the one thing that I do want to just point out real quick is if you look at this side over here, the reason that this doesn't uh, send the signal back up to this button is because redstone travels down and up differently. So if we wanted the signal to go up, you would just go, you know, you would go block, redstone, 
and then you would just block a redstone torch and then that's how the signal would go up so the reason that we can get our flip-flop to work the way that we need to is because uh redstone travels down differently with that i just wanted to point that out real quick but again i will put this uh map in the download for the description so you guys can take uh you can download it take a look at it tell me what you guys think if you guys want to improve it go ahead and do that as well the other thing i might consider doing is i might work on maybe a two by two uh item swapper or block swapper and make it a little bit bigger of an elevator and then we'll do a tutorial on that as well so if you guys want to see something like that let me know but i kind of like just the one area it's kind of neat uh you know, it's, it definitely works. So the other thing that we could try and test out that I haven't even done yet is let's go ahead and throw um, some of our some of our items in there. Whoa, look how fast that went up there. Wow, now it's just bobbing around up there. That's pretty cool. So now if we went up there, I wonder if we could actually... See, now we could probably just put it into like a chest or really whatever we want and have it kind of flow out. That might be really neat to make a uh, an item transport with something like that. So, always future episodes or things that we could do. That would be pretty amazing. But if you guys are enjoying these videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming. Bye. <laughs>